Hello you fans, Mother Rats here, and welcome to another episode with Cleefar, now playing on Ranked. And yeah, I like this deck so much. I've switched uh, one minor card in the deck, which is um, the uh, climate change to an MST, just because you never know if your opponent is main decking a anti-spell fragrance or a vanity dentist, and you can't get around it. MST will out that, essentially. So I thought I have that in there, and it also adds fog blades, which are dangerous against this deck, particularly if you equip them to your own monster to stop them attacking him. And then the only way around it is helix. And how are you actually going to get into the storm? He's taking forever to actually decide if he wants to go first or second, and he knows I've got an extra deck, so he doesn't know. So he doesn't think it's a monarch deck, even though it could be. You can't play Cleef on monarch. So it is a thing. Oh, we finally get out. Uh, we get Scout in hand with Trap Cards. Decent, but we don't get to go first. That is always a problem. That you don't get to go first. So, part of duality. Volcanic Doomfire? Really? Unranked? Volcanic Doomfire? So, he's playing Volcanics. Is he playing Card of Demise with this? Possibly. Possibly indeed, so I'm guessing uh, there's, some, there's some kind of summon, some way you can summon out Doomfire. I can't remember what the exact way is at this point. And it now won't bloody let me look what the card was. There it is. Okay, Voltanic Doomfire, send a Triblaze Accelerator you control to the graveyard. Do you even run that? Do they even run that? Okay, Cleefot Scout. Scout can pay 800 and give me something nice. I'm going for that stack. Always need to get that stack device. Is it classed as. Oh, it's classed as Triblaze Accelerator. Okay, that makes sense then. So get some stack in here and discarding the Volcanic Shell, which is not good for me, but I can Toxy Shook my stealth. That's an 1800 beat stick. Is he going to more or less destroy this? No, 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 for, no, um, bottom's drop on. I can equip some stack into my stealth. And now I've got four back row, which is going to be very painful for our opponent to deal with. Next turn, he can add a shell to his hand to do another 500 damage to himself, and then try and get some advantage with his volcanic, well, not his blaze accelerator reload. And then I can set one, two, three, four. I don't know why I was doing slow, but um, yeah, who's the helmet deck? I think I win that. So yeah. Also check out the polls at the at the top of this video if you want to say in the uh, next stream, or if you think I should play do a series on playing OCG because I'm really tempted. I'm really annoyed that Konami is not give us Cyberstan, and I really want to play that card. So I was thinking of playing like Phantom Knight Cyberstein crossover on um, OCG on Dev Pro, which would be pretty nice to do, but only only would want to do that if you guys would enjoy watching it. So let me know in the poll at the beginning, at the top of the video. Okay, Volcanic Shell, pay 500, do another thing. I'm going to wait for the scatter shot before I do any Solemn Strike-like things. It should be fine at this point. I can also play this on OCG because skill drain is at three. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. But I would probably want to do um part of, not part of duality, um Cyberstein crossover. Just because I love Cyberstein. It's one of my favourite cards, but I've never been able to play it in the TCG. Because it was banned long before I ended. Okay, he's hitting the clipper launch. That's good for me. Because Clipper Launch can be just flipped over now, makes my monster unaffected by Spells of Traps for the rest of the turn, so it can be destroyed by battle, but um, it is now a 3100 beat stick. Boom, so good. <laughs> oh, really? That Magic Planter, too strong. Draw two cards, get his engine all going around. So the Blaze Accelerator Reload is going to send that Scatter Shot to the graveyard. And I, I don't know which effect the Scatter Shot activates. Um, so pay, five, pay 500. If this card sends the graveyard, it's another 2. That is the effect I want to negate. So I'll sort of strike that. No. No, you're not nuking my board. And then those two are going to do some damage. 
decent enough. I've got Forbidden Chalice if he summons out a Royal Firestorm Guards, which is decent as well. Has he got a chain to this? One, two, is, has he got the Quick Blade? No. I'm taking a lot of damage, obviously, but I can survive it at this point. Twin Twisters. Oh, my Cleefot Scout. Oh, my loser turn. Damn. That's not good. Royal Fire Stand Guards, do you want to um, draw two cards? I don't think you can. I'm gonna Forbidden Chalice you. No, my luck, he has a Forbidden Lance, which wouldn't be very good for me. So, negate that guard. Guard is now a 2100 beat stick, whereas my stealth is a 3100 beat stick. I think I win there. Hopefully this is not another pass on guards, as I, or I will be in a really bad position. Compulsory evacuation device, that's decent. I can just beat down his life points. He can defeat my um, sacrifice with his Galaxy Cyclone in the graveyard, but that's about it. He can make it beatable by battle. And 300 less. That's about it. Compulsory evacuation with dice will help against XC plays and sleep plays, which is always good. Um, does he have something in, did he have something in the graveyard that he could use? Probably not. I'm guessing something like this is Twin Twister or MST. Probably. Although he could have done it last turn and made this compulsory evacuation device completely live and live. And this is unaffected by anything lower rank or level that's seven or lower. Which is very nice. Cleafos Stealth, too strong. We negate everything. This is the full-on negation deck. Um do I want a compulsory evacuation device that? I'm not sure. I I'm not sure indeed. Depending on what I get through Pod Wildsey. It's very risky since you only you'd have four hundred life points left. I can't um gag gag cowboy. Cardamize cow <laughs> Cardamize Cardamize and Story Mirror Force. Well I all I know what I'm going for. Come on stealth, uh, beat this down. Just in case it somehow did damage. Let's see. Maxi. Yeah, that's brilliant, bro. Maxi too strong for for Cleefort. Uh, card demise. Draw three cards. If we don't use them this turn, we lose them this turn. So we got Stony Mirror for Summon that and the Cleefort Helix. So I can use some of that to add Cleefort Morlith to my hand. Maybe should have kept it for a bit later. You never know. But um, it gives him a target for his Galactic Cyclone, except from Sacrifice, which can be decent. And then I can Toxic Shock in my Cleefort Helix, set my Storming Mirror Force, and then pass the turn, which will be decent enough. Because this deck so degenerates, which is sometimes fun. I, I'm, I don't know why I'm enjoying this so much that I am, as much as I am. Because this is one most one of my all-time hated decks, Cleefort, and I somehow enjoy it. I can see why people played it for that format, those formats. Uh, so this is this is um, an issue. That back those back rows could be an issue. They can definitely be an issue. He's got that second on the great guy, which he's going to use. Oh, <laughs> he's setting the monster. He's He's not even using it. Um, now I can compulsory evacuation device that. So, no, no, no. You have to use your back row. And I've got Storm Mirror Force if I need to be protected. This is just because Rippling Mirror Force isn't on the system yet in the TCG section. So, when it does. Yeah, two max C's versus nice. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a thing. Max C too strong. So yeah, volcanics conquered by the Cleefort. The Cleefort come out so we have the Candomise as well. That lovely summon of Helix. My scout was gone, but who needs scout anymore when you play such a degenerate deck? So lovely. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, if you join us to see further content. Please click on the podcast at the begin at the top of this video to um, do those. Essentially, always check those out. Uh, please leave co comments below if you've got any decks you want to see um, updated for the April ban list. And also, if you want to see when I'm streaming, click like my uh, Facebook page, which is in the description below. Thank you for watching. Matt Durant signing out.